Okay, so that was the first part. Now, how about these things, these controls that we talked about? How can we add something to it? First, I'm going to remove the screen because it's not, uh, it's not related to what we're going to do. So I'm going to go to the background image from background image and then I'm going to select this and select none. Okay, now there is no image. All right, notice that image resources, do you remember that image? I told you this is a solution explorer. Notice that image is actually included into my project now, in my project resources. Okay, so this is image in my project. I can use it on any forms or anything that I want. All right. Taib. What can we do with this form? First, we're going to put a title. Do you remember the carpeting program that we used to do to calculate the area, the room area, and then the room price? Yeah? We're going to do something similar. We want to add, we want to make this like an, a program for a carpeting shop. So we're going to give it a name on top, and then here we will allow them to enter the, the width, the length, and the price per square foot. And then we will have a couple buttons here, one button to calculate the area, one button to calculate the total price of carpeting. And at the bottom, I'm going to show him, we show the result. So how do we add descriptive things to the button? I mean to the form. There is something called label. When you click and drag this thing, then you bring it to your form. What is a label? A label is things that you use for description or displaying messages or results. So it means like it's a message that you cannot change or a text that you cannot change. You cannot do anything with it. The user cannot change it, but you can change it inside the program. So now it says label one. What we don't want to say label one. We want to say my carpeting shop. How do you change it from saying label one to my carpeting shop, what do we have to do? We have to change the property. Which property allow us to change the value of a text? Text, right? Now to change what appears, remember when we change the form, we change the text. Here also, to change what appears here, we need to change the text property. So this label also have property called text. Do you see that? It says label one. Now here I'm going to say instead of label one, we're going to say my carpeting shop. Okay. Now it appears here. Now this label, it looks like it's small. So I want to change the appearance of it. I wanted to make it bigger and then I wanted to make it bold and then you can change the color if you want. What property do you think we need to use in order to change the appearance of this label? There is a property called font. So if you go in here, one of the properties is called font. Do you see that? So when I click on it, click the buttons, then you have, you can make it bold, you can make it bigger and whatever you want, just like Microsoft Word, or uh, you can change the font of your labels, or any control. Now I hit OK. Now it looks bigger, right? It looks better. Type. When we do the form, I want to allow the user, let me put it on pause for a minute, I'm going to allow the user to enter the width, the length, the height, I'm sorry, the, the price per square foot. So what do we need to do? Uh, let me put it for a pause and draw it on the board, okay? Okay, so now we know what the form is going to look like. So we want to add the description to my label, uh, to my form. So we want to add a label here that says what? Enter width, right? Which property do we use? Again, we use the text property. Here we say enter width. Okay, now I can change the font to make it a little bit better than that. So we go to the font, and then we change it to maybe, if you wanted to make it bold, and then you want to make it 12, for example. And then we hit OK. All right? Now I've done one, and I know all of them will be the same font and the same size. 
I can do what? Copy and paste, and then I just change the value. So I can do control copy, then control V, control V, control V, control V, control V. I have five, okay? Then I can put them in the right order. Notice when I put them, I actually lines them up. Do you see those two lines that appears? It means that you want to you look at the left line, make sure that it is aligned with the left line. Then I will put the other one, then another one, and another one. We have one extra, right? We delete it. Okay. Now here, instead of enter width, what should we in say? Enter length. So I'll go in here and say enter length. All right. Then here, hit enter, and go in here, enter price per square foot. I'm just going to do it like per square foot like this, per square foot, okay, like abbreviation, okay? And here, here we need room area, and then here we need room cost, okay, carpeting cost. All right, so I got my, I got my, uh, my form. If I wanted to make it a little bit bigger, add more room, I can make it bigger. If I want to move these a little bit below, I can select them both, hit the control, and then move them down so they are separated from the, where the user entered the values. All right, so that is with labels. So we know how to change the properties with forms. We know how to change the properties of a label. We know how to add a label. How do we add buttons? Again, we have a control called button. All I need to do is just drag, drag and drop a button here. And then we want to change it. The, we want to change the title. Instead of button one, we want it to say area, right? So which property we use to change that? text, right? So here it is already selected. So I can select, change that to say area. Again, you can change the font of this if you want. You can make it a little bit bigger if you want. So how to change the font? You go to the font color, font property and change the font to something else. Okay, for example 12 and then make it bold or 11 or 10. Let's just make it 10, okay? Something like that. Now you can copy and paste this button. So you can say control copy, control V, and then another one. I'll tell you the, 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 why do we have three. So this is the area, this is the cost, room cost. Okay. And this is to clear all the things on the screen. Okay, so clear. Now notice the room cost, it is what? It's only showing room, but where is the cost? Because the, the button small, it didn't fit both of them. So you can make it a little bit bigger, and then you can make this a little bit bigger, so they're all the same size, okay? So that is a button. What is a button, and why do you use buttons for? Buttons are for actions. Yani when you click on it, it does something, okay? You want it to do something. In our case, when we click on the area, it's supposed to calculate the area. When I click on the room cost, it's supposed to calculate the carpeting cost. When I click on the clear, it's supposed to clear all the values in my form. What there? All right. Type. Now we want to allow the user to enter data. How do we allow user to enter data? We allow the user to enter data using text boxes. So we have one here called text box. Do you see that? So now I can add a text box here, a text box here, a text box here. Why do I need text box, three text boxes and not two? Because the user enters, to calculate the area, we need to know what is the length and what is the width. To calculate the total cost, we need to know what is the length, what is the width, and then what is the price per square foot in order to do the calculation. All right? So that's why we have those three uh, text boxes. 
Now, here, we need to give him names. What is that? What the, why do we need to give him name? Right now, what is the name of this? Text box 1. What is the name of this? Text box 2. Okay? And what is the name of this? Text box 3. Type. When you're writing a program, if you just say text box 1, text box 2, text box 3, do you know what, which one is the width, which one is the length, which one is the price per square foot? You don't know, right? So we want to give him a name that is meaningful, so we know which control we use, which text box means what. For example, this is text. This is the width. So instead of saying text box one, what can what name do we give it? For example, because it's text box, I use abbreviation TXT, and then width. You get the idea. And then I do the same thing. Now I know this is the width. In my program, I know this represents width instead of text box one, trying to guess what it is, right? And here I can do the same thing. TXT uh, length. And then here, what? TXT price per square foot. I'm just going to give it the price, okay? You get the idea? So those are my three controls, this, this, and this. Now when we do the calculation, I need to do, show the result. So where do we show the result? Here I have this, 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 but I want to show the result after, when I click on here, it, the result should appear where? Next to the room area. When I click on the wrong cost, the result should appear where? Next to, to the to carpeting cost. You got the idea? All right, so I need to add a label. I need to add a label to uh, that. And let me put this on silent so we don't get. Uh, I can't put it on silent. All right. So how do we add a label next to this? Again, what do we do? We go label and then put it next to here, right? Or you can copy and paste a label because you already know the format. So for example, you can copy and paste this in here. So if I want to do control copy, control V, and then I'll put it here. Type. This label, we want it to appear differently than the regular label because it shows results. So how do I change the look of this label? First of all, it shouldn't say room area. It should be empty at the beginning, right? So there are a few properties here that we need to know, to worry about. First is the auto size thing here. Auto size means that it depends on the length of your label. It would make it bigger or smaller. But we don't want it to do auto size. We want it to do fixed length. So instead of auto size, we want it to say false. Don't auto size it. Also, the border style, instead of looking just plain, we wanted to put an edge around it so it looks like actually appears on the screen something nice. Okay? So instead of none, I will do what? Fix 3D. So now do you see how it looks like? Okay? It has a border around it. You get the idea? Instead of room area, it shouldn't say anything in it. So how do I remove the room area from it? Where do we go? The text. So instead of that, we will clear it. All right? So now I have a label that looks, little, looks nice, and then uh, it appears on the screen. Insta you know, it, it's different than this. And then I can do the same thing. I can copy this and paste it. So control copy, control V, and then I have two labels. One for the carpeting cost and one for the room area. All right? Type. These are results. It means that you want to give them a name also. Why do you want to give them a name? Because you want to give them a name in order to do what? In order to change them in your program. Just like we did this. We changed the name to what? T 
txt with i can do change these things to something descriptive yani badal instead of label 3 i can say lbl and then this is the area right so i can say lbl area so i can use it in my program and instead of this lbl8 label 8 i can say lbl room cost you got the idea so now our program or my form the design is ready all we need to do is do the programming I'm gonna stop this and I'm gonna give you a chance to do this one okay so let's go ahead and stop this one in the third video we'll program it make it program okay we will we'll program the uh, pro, uh, form okay